Over the years, I've realized that there are chemical fertilizers that have to be discontinued after the usage for about three years. What the farmer does is to spend so much money buying these synthetic chemical fertilizers, applying it to their farms and their soil. And after three years, you know, the soil becomes so much acidic that it's not able to produce more yield. They think excessive application of these chemical fertilizers is what would make them increase their yields. And they continue to apply it excessively, excessively. And this drains them financially and they are not also able to get the results that they need. This is a very sad situation which does not only put the smallholder farmers in a vicious cycle of poverty, but it also destroys farmland ecosystems and generally the environment. I am Gideon Ohineponobe Nyamisen, CEO and founder of Agricentric Ventures. Agricentric Ventures is a social enterprise located at Ejusu in the Ashanti region of Ghana. We engage in nutrient recycling by using chemotrophs and microbial inoculants to process agricultural waste into bioorganic inputs such as biofertilizer, biopesticide, biochar, animal dietary supplements, and feed. Smallholder farmers in Ghana have a series of challenges, including high cost of agricultural inputs, depleted nature of um, the soil, that's the inability of the soil to you know, produce high yields. And on top of all these challenges is the climate change, which has really worsened the plight of smallholder farmers in Ghana. Agriculture in Ghana is rainfall dependent. The rainfall patterns really help the farmers to know when to prepare their lands, know when to begin the cultivation. But due to climate change, rainfall patterns have changed. The rains do not come at times expected. And when they come, they cause floods. And this has really compounded the situation of the smallholder farmers. What got me interested is the new technology that they are trying to bring on board. Because you see, with climate change and the issues that are associated with it, I think the whole world has come to the realization that we need new technologies, especially in the area of agriculture, to be able to produce food uh, to feed the global population. And we can also use that to create jobs for the youth of this country. Economically, we are able to help the smallholder farmers increase their income levels, and this is what we do. We buy agricultural waste from the farmers, and as we pay them for that agricultural waste, which initially they've been throwing away, we diversify their revenue streams, and we help in to increase their income. Nothing in the agriculture sector or in the food chain goes waste. Uh, in particular, gathering waste of uh, leftovers of fruits and vegetables and turning them into fertilizers, that's uh, organic fertilizers. And that has been uh, part of the department's agenda to uh, limit the use of inorganic materials in the agriculture or the food productions. As you can see this, uh, these are varieties of um, fruits and vegetable waste and it has been inoculated. And looking at it at this stage, it took about two weeks. And it's from this stage that we do the extraction and ino inoculation to get this final product. One key aspect of our operations is our ability to engage in strategic partnerships with major stakeholders of agriculture to implement agricultural initiatives in our local community, that's the Ejusu municipality. The department has been in collaboration with AgriCentric for almost two years. What we normally do, and that also helps 
as in facilitating or giving out this assistance to farmers is what these NGOs and other agencies and those who are directly dealing in the agriculture sector. Our mission is to promote business and climate smart agriculture by helping farmers reduce their cost of farming operations, increase their yields and their income levels, and also strengthen their climate resilience capacities through cost-effective agripreneurial innovations. As COVID has um, affected a lot of businesses globally, and so is it that it affected Agricentric with its operations. But with our engagement with him, we are able to provide business development services to him to enable him to recover and revive his business and operations. We believe um, helping with the production of these fertilizers, the, the farmer will be able to um, assess these organic fertilizers to reduce the cost of their production, meanwhile increasing their yield of their produce. Our production team is made up of all female. Most of the smallholder farmers that we educate and train are also women who have their own farms and to get themselves engaged in the vertical planting technique of food production. Seed has really supported us to build our capacity, you know, as a startup through the seed catalyzer workshops, and which, you know, provided us with business incubation and acceleration training and how best to, you know, incorporate the sustainable development goals in in our various operations and one big support was the the funding and we are thankful to SEED for getting us through uh, that stage. We need to bring on board all the players both um, small and big to promote you know the, the, the sustainable practices of food production and the use of some of these environmentally friendly and eco-inclusive farming inputs among smallholder farmers. And I think this will not only you know, help curb the climate change, but it will also save the plight of the smallholder farmers and food security. <laughs>